several years ago, my family found out that my oldest sister was uh, abused as a child uh, when she was between 13 and 14 years old. She opened up you know, to my mom and told her story and they didn't believe what she was saying because uh, she was abused by this family member. And my mom is an extremely religious person. She reads the Bible in the morning, every morning, every afternoon, every night. And her belief system just would not allow her mind to believe that my sister was abused by this family member because this family member put his hand on the Bible and you know, swore that never did anything. So then everybody turned her back on her except for me. I just felt when I talked to her that she was telling the truth. So it was very devastating to me and to my sister. She turned into alcohol and all kinds of stuff afterwards because she was looking for the support of my mom and she didn't, she didn't get it. When we went to the advanced workshop in Colorado, I thought about my sister and I said, well, I'm gonna feel and I'm gonna, you know, leave ahead of the, the actual event and feel as if my prayers are very being answered, like Dr. Joe says. So I picture my sister with my mom hugging and loving each other. So I actually pulled out of my soul and of love to love the person that abused my sister. And the way I picture it is um, I saw my sister, I saw my mom hugging and, and smiling and you know, loving each other. And I saw this guy you know, fading away, looking away. I could see only his back. And I just blessed him and blessed his soul. So I was in tears. And you know, after that, that was July of 2013. And then in August, after almost four and a half years, my mom never called me. She told me four and a half years ago not to ever call her again, because I sided with my sister. And then after that meditation, the next month, she calls me. And she, the first thing that she said was like, I love you, I'm sorry, I love you, I'm sorry. She was crying and she called my sister and my sister and, and her are basically, you know, they're talking over the phone every week and my sister is coming next month to visit and to be with my mom. So basically it was a miracle because the minute she arrived in Houston, it was in the evening and she didn't even want to, I didn't even want to talk about the subject because I knew we we're never going to agree on anything. But she wanted to talk about my sister and that same night she believed everything that I told her. Things are back to normal with my sister and my mom, which is a miracle to me because I would never thought and you know for the rest of my life that this issue with with my sister was going to be resolved and it did just by me you know believing that the event leaving the event in the, ahead of time you experienced the event though yeah. in the field and if she experienced the event in the field and emotionally embraced it to such a degree that she did then her body as the unconscious mind believed it was in that future reality in the present moment and she was she was actually her consciousness was in that future reality and there was enough energy there because of the emotional quotient that the experience had to happen. She left a blueprint in the field and that manifested as a physical reality experience. An impossible, seemingly impossible situation resolved with love. I'm really thankful for what I've learned because the power of meditation is incredible and God listens to Everything that, you th that we think, everything that we, that we envision, you know, he's always listening to us.